In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the Divi Builder shortcodes that are used to create the Divi Builder layouts. By default, Divi does not show you these. There's no way to see them by default, but using this hack in the WordPress page editor, you'll be able to see those shortcodes and use them to quickly and easily create pages with those layouts. And I personally use it to automate data input with Zapier, and it makes it super simple when you have the shortcodes. And we're getting started right now. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, and you like WordPress, and you like learning hacks and tricks, and all kinds of stuff to help you get better at it, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start this WordPress tutorial. I'll see you there. There's a very simple hack to find the Divi Builder shortcodes. And unfortunately, you have to use a hack because Divi does not show you them by default. Other page builders, like this one here, which is WP Bakery Page Builder, it will show you the shortcodes by switching back to the default editor, which I'm gonna show you just in a second how it doesn't work in Divi. But I have this layout in here, loaded it from the Divi library. This is what it looks like on the page. It's a very nice layout and nicely customizable, and that's great. But I can't find the shortcodes. And I'm gonna tell you why I want the shortcodes in just a minute. But if I go to the default editor, it says we're gonna delete everything, and then there's no shortcodes here which would appear if this was built with Visual Builder or WP Baker Page Builder and other page builders. We go back to the Divi Page Builder, let's load that one from the library again. Now we have all that content. To find the shortcodes, what we do, we right click on the title bar, click on inspect. Look through the code and find the builder. Okay, so here's the builder button and it has a class of et underscore pb underscore builder underscore is underscore used, meaning the builder is being used. And then we have right below that the main editor with a class of hidden. So I'm gonna double click on this class of hidden and hit delete then hit enter. And now we have our main editor appearing. I'm gonna close out the inspector. We have our main editor like you see with, on any WordPress, regular WordPress page. And then down below that, we have the Divi Builder. So we've unhidden the main editor, and this is all the shortcodes that are deleted when you go back and click on Use Default Editor. Now the cool thing is, or the reason I want to do this, is because I can pull information from a database, I can use Zapier to connect to WordPress, to automatically build pages using Divi layouts, if I have access to the shortcodes, and that's why I wanted to find them, and that's maybe something you can use or can, can adapt in your business. Another cool thing, just to show you really quick, if I select all of the code in this builder and copy it, and then create a new page, and this is an example of why this works with uh, the, the connection to Zapier and the Divi build, because you might think if you just put the shortcodes into here, it'll just show shortcodes all the time, but that's not the case. I'm just gonna call this test, Gonna paste all the shortcodes in here. And this is not nice to work in, these shortcodes, much nicer to work in the builder. But if I just paste those in, click on use the Divi Builder, it has the whole layout right there, exactly as defined in the shortcode. And that's how you find the builder shortcodes in the Divi theme. That's all there is to it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.